Hi everyone, it's me, Miss Jessie. Today I'm going to read you a book all about apples. It's called Apples for Everyone by Jill Esbaum. She's the author, and the author writes the words. This is a nonfiction book. That means that everything in this book is true and real, not pretend. Let's start. Each year, in orchards and backyards, apple trees bloom. As time passes, petals flutter to the grass and fuzzy bumps appear. Slowly, baby apples grow bigger and bigger. Apples can be all different colors, shapes, and sizes. Apples might have a gold stripe in them, or be round, or be tall. Limbs drop heavy as the fruit gets ripe. Some apples thud to the ground, then root and become food for the growing trees. At last, it's fall harvest time and fresh apples are everywhere. Look at that huge box of apples. Grocery stores, farmers markets, and roadside stands. You might even climb a ladder and pick your own. People love bobbing for apples at Halloween parties, or making caramel apples, or even apple pie. You can press apples to make a delicious Tasty apple juice. Have you guys had apple juice? Apple trees have been growing in America for hundreds of years since colonies brought pipes or apple seeds from England. Whoa, that's a shot above of all the apple trees in rows. That's a lot of apple trees. An apple seed lies in its core. Cut an apple crosswise and you'll see the shape of a star. Do you see the shape of the star in this apple? I wonder if you can try that at your house. Americans eat more apples than any other fruit. There are many favorites to choose from. They have a variety of names like Fuji, Gala, Granny Smith, Honeycrisp, Jonathan, Pink Lady, or Red Delicious. Have you found your favorite apple yet? I love the green apples. What one do you like? Ah, love at first bite. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book all about apples. Bye.